Hello and welcome to FC365 TV, I'm Joe Snow and today at Technology at its Finest I'm gonna show you how to fix push notifications and FaceTime, iMessages and so on on a bypassed iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2 at first, you need to do a jailbreak. You can use this version of Pangu to do a jailbreak, even if it's uh, bypassed. I have a video tutorial for that, or you can also use Geek Snow, which is semi-tethered or semi-untethered, depending on however you want to say it. Anyway, for both of this method of jailbreaking, I have a video. You can either choose the one from the left or the one from the right. Now, after you jailbreak using one of those methods and after you bypass, of course, you need to bypass first, you probably want to uh, activate your push notifications for YouTube and for the other um, services and also to make your FaceTime and your iMessage to work. So, let's get to work. At first, I'm gonna... I'm gonna open iTools 3. You don't need I iTools 3. I'm gonna open it just not to shoot a video with um, the camera from my phone because I, I don't really want to shoot a video with the camera from my phone because uh, it's night right here and it doesn't really look okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna connect it in the projector mode and I'm gonna project my screen. As you can see, I am jailbroken. You need to be jailbroken, okay? And I'm gonna click on real-time desktop, click yes, and you will be able to see what I have on my screen, okay? Uh, I'm now in the lock screen. Great. Okay, I unlocked my phone. Uh, you see this application named iPosher, we're going to use it later to test if uh, push notifications work. For the moment, I'm going to open Syria. Uh, there is a uh, one second delay on this uh, projector, on the real-time desktop, it's not that real-time, but it's basically better than uh, shooting a video with a camera on night, you wouldn't be able to understand anything, and I think it's better to shoot it this way. Anyway, I will uh, wait until everything loads completely and so on. Okay, there we go. We're in Syria. You have to navigate to sources and add a new repository. So, let's do it. So, after you click on uh, add repository, you need to add the first repository, which is repo dot insane l ypsilon i dot com and click add source Click edit anyway. And we will we will download the inject from this tweak and from the other we're going to download mobile terminal. Now you click on inject and click install. Okay, it's installed. Now we need to install terminal, mobile terminal from another repository. Go back here, click on edit, add, and at the name you have to insert iPhone eight. 
me.com slash repo. And of course, click add anyway if it asks you. We're not going to use any illegal applications as it says on Cydia. I don't know why it says that. Also, I want to thank for this guide to this guy. This guy posted the files and the full guide. So if you want to thank someone, thank on the forum to this guy with the dog here. Okay, so it's installing. Now you need to search for mobile terminal iOS 7 and click install. Confirm and it will start installing the, uh, the application. Okay, now that we are uh, ready, we can return to Cydia, exit from here and we need to um, close for the moment this window and go to file manager so uh, basically you will require iTools 3 also uh, I don't know if uh, what what my, uh, my what my phone said it says something about illegal when I tried to uh, add those repositories I would really want to hear from someone from Cydia or an official Cydia employee if that um, if that repository it's really illegal I don't think so mobile terminal is for free from what I know but uh, let's continue probably it's a uh, fake alert anyway you will need to go here to your jailbreak if you want to say so and you need to navigate to VA Air and um, keychains key bags uh, key bags or keychains no keychains so we need to search for keychains okay here we go keychains great and uh, we need here to add new files but uh, my files are somewhere on the screen so I'm gonna open this thing and everything you you uh, get from the forum from the files from the archive you will drop here okay now you can close this thing up and sorry I'm gonna open again real time because again we need to go to uh, to our real-time manager great now you need to open terminal and here you are you need to write su the password is alpine a sorry a l p n a okay and i'm on the root uh, alpine you need to write alpine like um, like let me show you where to write alpine alpine i need something to write on i l p n a this is the password Alpine for the terminal. The terminal will show nothing while you're writing the password. So yeah, cd slash var and you will be in the var. Now you need the cd in the keychains. cd keychains. There you go. You're in the keychain and you need to write dot slash and inject okay it created the certificate and fixed the YouTube problem now you need to write reboot now uh, keep in mind that the phone will reboot okay It got disconnected because the phone is rebooting. I'll be back when the phone will be ready. Uh, okay, now that my device rebooted successfully, I'm gonna open again the uh, projector, real-time desktop for the phone. And I'm gonna unlock the phone. 
today i tool three today a little bit faster please yeah it's actually very fast okay now i'm going to go to i pusher and let's test the uh, push notifications oops sorry <laughs> that's pretty much awkward I need access to internet and I don't have sorry for this application you need uh, you actually need access to the internet so just a second for my phone to catch some uh, Wi-Fi that's really awkward okay I got me some internet now let's test <laughs> yay push notifications work fine okay so I fixed my push notifications let's test again yep now you need you actually need internet for this application because it takes from some server uh, if for example I disable Wi-Fi on my device as you can see now I'm in airplane mode I, I no longer have wireless if I click test push notifications I will get some error so you actually need internet in order to use this uh, application okay uh, the application can be downloaded from um, App Store it's free you, you just need to go to App Store and you can find it you write iPusher and um, you will be able to find the application so this is basically it it's, it is compatible with I, all iOS versions and yeah <laughs> Good luck on fixing your uh, push notifications and thanks to the authors. Have a great day. Goodbye.